So we can go around and say our names and more. Welcome. Are we recording? Thank you. And did you get us in what seven? Andrew Kronenfeld, Ward 7. Me, Morgan, they, them, Ward 7. And Krensky, Ward 4. Jeff Broughton, Ward 7, Shane Carter. And she's a little bit. Major Hume, she's a Ward 4. Sarah Diaz, she's a Ward 7. Thank you. Um, our uh, agenda really just scripts everything we need to do tonight. Um, because up to this point, everything was voted in unanimously by this committee. Um, so the first thing on the agenda is we want to check the Does someone want to read the All right, one, page two, opening paragraph of article two. On the point of accessibility, which I'm glad to be raised, the MPAs might want to consider adding language letting members of the public know how to request an accommodation for a disability. If you look at the end of any city council agenda, you can see an example. A statement like this doesn't need to find its place in the bylaws, but technically it should appear in the agenda. As such, since the MPA wants to find ways to be more inclusive and accessible, it's not a bad idea to have some text in the bylaws as a model. So I went to the end of the city council meeting. And um, number two on our agenda is vote on adding the following statement at the end of the opening paragraph of article two or anywhere else in the bylaws working group deems appropriate. But I was thinking, um, so not, so if we could go to the bylaws okay. document, please. I'm just okay, sorry. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna double. <laughs> just gonna double check the audio once more. <laughs> can someone talk? Can you, one of you talk? Hello. 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 Oh, we gotta go. Now, now talk. To talk in. It's turning towards me. Yeah, I just want to double check that it's not coming from my computer. The microphone is not oh. my computer. So if one of you can speak, that would be great. Hello. My name is Andrew. There you go. Great. great. <laughs> We go to the next page uh, where it says Article 2 membership. Vote on adding the following statement at the end of the opening paragraph of Article 2 or anywhere else would be appropriate. Well, this agenda is available. I actually put. Oh, okay. You're not in the Google Doc. Okay. I am. This is the one you sent me the other day. Okay. The... Okay. Um. Quote. So it says at the beginning. All Ward 4 and Ward 7 residents who are 14 years or older shall be voting members to facilitate participation in meetings, both in-person and online meeting venues shall be offered and accessible to all. Then, this agenda is available in alternative formats upon request. For more information on access, call Lori Olberg, Licensing, Voting, and Records Coordinator, the phone number, the TTY number. Yeah. Persons with disabilities who require assistance or special arrangements to participate are encouraged to contact a phone number. Can you say the number? or another number, DUI number, at least 72 hours in advance so that proper arrangements can be made on the boat. And it's called, sorry, it's your name. Glory Allward, since these bylaws are likely to be in effect 10 years from now, you might want to put city clerk. Good point. Yeah, Glory. Not in any 
Yeah, yeah. Good point. Oh, Were they saying the phone number? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. City Clark office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought that somewhere else too, but what made me think of I have a question. So who then is responsible for making those complications? Yeah. Who, who they? they? City Clerk. Clerk. Okay. So are we going to take <laughs> out call the city? Are we going to add call the city? The office of the city clerk at the same phone numbers provided. Yes. Yeah. What the number could change in the future, potentially. I don't know, but. I would say just the office of the city clerk. Right, because it's in the bylaws. It's a you know the big overall document right. specific right. in the district. You know, the it does list that afterwards. I guess that's true. Licensing, voting, and rec. And I mean, there is a generic number to bring it ever in a day. I know it. It's been there for at least 30 years. I know, so, right? So is, that, is that the that's number that's 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 um, you don't want to have no, an update your bylaws. It sounds like you need the update, but you, we so still want to get together and we all want to go and help out for them to get the NPA thing as well. Just throwing it out there. Also, do we want to add language that it is to be included in the agenda? If it's, is it on our agenda, currently? Probably not. Probably yes. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, so we're going to not do it. I'm hearing um, a motion to. I'll make a motion. Okay. I will make a motion to include that language, except to remove the person's name, and to instead say the office of the city clerk. And I would say add the phone number because mm -hmm. I think that's if they change it they will keep that number I swear that's the main number. so what they had here was Lori over licensing voting and record coordinator and then they gave two numbers oh okay so maybe, you just, maybe you just get maybe you put office of the city clerk and mm -hmm. mama licensing whatever that person mm -hmm. is but no because that's specific to voting mm -hmm. access but that's what oh, you want to say, office of the city. Okay, okay. just say office of the city. I can so so find where it is. Can I give a uh, just a reminder? So this is um, directly from the city attorney who reviewed it pertinent to like our NPA. Yeah. Um, and so I don't think we have to to like restructure it too much to to make it make sense. But what we do want to be cognizant of. I think it's important to include both of those phone numbers because one is for for, for uh, hearing folks and one is for hard of hearing folks because one is for easy line. And that number, yes, I was, but I, that's not the same number as the Lori and whoever. Well, why that's included is because that is the person to call for accessibility. So if then now we're we're deciding that we want to direct to somebody different. What we're being told by the city attorney is if we have an accessibility accommodation request, this is the person and the numbers to call. And even if the person changes, it'll likely be the same contact information. I understand, like, we don't want to. So, so the city attorney is saying we have to call Lori Olber, mm -hmm. who is not the city clerk, mm -hmm. it is the city clerk. Mm -hmm. Well, there there are several city clerks, and so no, there's a city clerk. No, office. there is an office of the city clerk. Mm -hmm. Period. Great, but so if you call the office of the city clerk, you're going to get multiple people. You get a secretary, or and, and, and you tell them why you're calling. Right. There is a city clerk. Well, I so I guess my my advocacy would be that the city attorney has suggested that the best way to get accessibility information is to call Lori Olber at these numbers and if we are deciding to change that we are which is fine if that's what we decide but we're deviating from what is being suggested as an accessibility best practice 
And so I would ask us to consider who is that helping? And if, if the accessibility information is to expedite people who need accessibility accommodations, I would lean in favor to taking the suggested approach, but that's, I guess that's all I'll. And I then we don't have to discuss any of these then. We should just adopt them all. Well, there, no, there, there's other issues. But if we're going to if we're going to use the principle of sticking with what the attorney said on this one, shouldn't we do it on everyone? Well, well not I'm, necessarily. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not saying I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's an accessibility issue, and that's a very specific person who handles accessibility issues. And so if we broaden that, and we can understand, I just, I just am trying to make that clear to people may not understand. I have that a that's mm -hmm. um, the, the words that are given describing that person's job type. Why don't we just say to call the job title at that number? Or it need, it won't need to be changed. You don't name the individual, just name right. the no. job well, the city clerk's office. Well, not don't put them in the or the city, city clerk's office who are in training, like employees or whatever. Yeah. But if Lori's on vacation, for example. Well, they have somebody. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine. So I, I, I recommend keeping the language the same because of lots of reasons. Um, I think that even if Lauren moves on to a, another career, then they will replace her in that position. That's why I'm saying name the position, not the person. Not the person, the, which is what I'm saying. The position will still be there. Uh, and I appreciate also, for the sake of conversation, what I think Andrew just said, that she may be specifically trained um, in this area, which other people might not be. Um, so I can appreciate that that contribution as well. Someone want to make a motion and we can and and Bosca, you you're, you're oh, gonna say something. I was just gonna I was just rereading the text um about the recommendation of the city attorney. Um I think the last point here, um not a bad idea to have some text in the bylaws as a model. I think the idea is like this is an example of some text that you could have at the end of the agenda, but not saying like this is the text you will have at the end of the agenda, because obviously it will change if, if someone else is in that position. So maybe just a clause in your bylaws that says like um, for accessibility or accommodations, um, you know, use this language, have this at the have language like this at the bottom of the agenda or something like this is a model of current language or something I don't, know. I, mean, I, I don't want to drive this out but my experience has always been whoever answers the phone you tell them what you need and they direct you mm -hmm. to the right person because this person who answers is the local assistant in the office right the but but they know where to go so i you know i don't even know that we need to say much more than say contact those two numbers and ask for the person you need. <laughs> you know what I mean? To be honest, I, I just, I, you know, we can go around this barn 20 times. Um, I think also to keep the, if we wanted to name Lori, that could be something that we do in each agenda. If we were, if the steering committee was to plan to add this language. That's a good point. That's a good the agenda. That's, that's so a good that we idea. can name the person who's currently in that position. For each right. meeting that we have, it's oh, so good idea. It changes. We can just and then the we'll be meeting every month for that. So good idea. So what would we like it to be? So I guess I can make a motion to um, have the language read: "This agenda is available in alternative formats upon request. For more information on access, contact the city clerk's office." Um, at, and I don't know if it's at, include the licensing voting and I don't know I don't know about some voting difference. Is clerk's office. Yeah, That's the phone the, number of the voting and records coordinator. Or right. Do we need to vote? We don't need that. Unless we're we doing voting coordinator. I interrupted my own motion. Sorry. Persons with this is the last sentence. Persons with disabilities yeah. who require assistance or special arrangements 
to participate is that very last sentence, Vicki, don't you think? That's the main number, 802-865-7000 voice or the TTY number right. at least 72 hours in advance so the proper arrangements can be made. Right, and then that first sentence can be what is added to any individual agenda. These are separate access issues. Mm -hmm. So one, one is um, voting. Well, no, it's like a new language. So alternative formats in these different languages. Yeah. That's why the information, um, there's a different number, uh, the phone number, at least for the special arrangement arrangements for uh, disabilities and assistance. You can call the Okay. So, how about leave it all the same? Take out Lori Olson's name and her title and write the city clerk's office at in those numbers. Then, persons with disabilities who require assistance or special arrangements mm -hmm. to participate are referred to contact. Those numbers that you said we put. I think the problem with that's good. With putting something different is that somebody's going to be frustrated. Somebody seeking um, accommodation is going to call the city clerk's office, and they're not necessarily going to know where to send them. And, but if we said that call the voting and records coordinator at this number or this TTY, that covers it. Always depending on the hard work that you do in that position. It does. Mm -hmm. So there is a motion on the floor. So do we want to amend the motion? Go ahead and speak. I will withdraw my motion. And Sarah had a motion. Okay, Sarah. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> You kind of amended it because it was this agenda is available in alternative formats upon request for more information on access. Call licensing, voting, and records. Coordinator. Yeah. At those two numbers. At those two numbers. And then for disabilities who require assistance and special arrangements. Um, and then the following. So I think, yeah, the motion is just to remove Lori Olbert's name. And just leave licensing. Yes, Do you want me to like suggest to, that in the couple time? Like that motion before we vote on it. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to add um, this language shall be included on the NPA meeting agenda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I only got a second. I just want to know if we should add the before licensing. Yes. Go for it, Vicki. Are you wanting me to add it to this Google Doc? Uh, uh, okay. So I, might, I will answer that in one Okay. Minute. Last time we were here, we made extensive revisions to the bylaws. Mm -hmm. And those I had already really that happened. Huh? Yes, yeah, saved, saved it. On the time. Interesting. Yeah. So, um, but it still was put into work to go back to the I now in my lap. Okay. These changes that you made, would you like to sink? And I said, oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> I didn't want that. Before. Okay, so, um, <laughs> call the licensing voting and records for it. Um, and then, and what did you say to anyone? Uh, this language yeah. shall be included on the NPA meeting agenda. If you be on the email, type the news up and then all of us. Probably not. You're so funny. So I'm just going to, so I know what the. So yeah, we're just. I'll just do the Google Doc when I get home. That's okay with everybody. Just yeah, I don't see that. And I'm just gonna put in red on here what we changed. <laughs> okay. All the I think that, and then I'll know what to update it with. I'm just gonna see this on there. It's a pickleball. Pickleball. So can we vote on this? That would like would you make an amendment as well if I could a friendly amendment which is, I don't see it up there right now, 
um, but it was uh, instead of persons with disabilities who require assistance, just say persons who require assistance. I think this is extracted from the citywide page, and I think the more we mess with it, I think. I mean, people service. need assistance. They don't have to have this. I agree. I just, I've always struggled when I see that. I think it's like, and someone has to say, oh, I have a disability, so I need assistance. But, well, sensibility is considered better than handicap. Well, yes. even so, yeah. I, I just, disability was better. My, my, you can say no if you want, but I would, I would ask for a friendly amendment to remove the words with disabilities and just say persons who require, or people who require assistance or special arrangements. That okay. incorporates people with disabilities, incorporates people who just need help. Well, I, 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 I can hear that too. I also know there's a lot of people with disability communities that um, really um, have a, a lot of pride in it. And I feel like, are we trying to, okay. Are we trying to um, not talk about something? No, or not trying to make some people more comfortable than others. I don't know what the answer is. Um, I think we're actually trying to expand. I don't what, mean what, to do that. that. I think the intention is to expand it, not not to put, not to hide anything or whatever. It's like somebody might. Could be anything, but it might be all it might be somebody who's had surgery and they can't walk very well or they can't get into the building. That's not a disability. Mm -hmm. well, it's a special special yes. special arrangement. It says or special arrangement. I just feel like this is the language that's across not, the board. And, okay. Yeah, I don't think that we're qualified to really qualify. Well, special arrangements in there too. I mean, okay. Well, I think the reason they have it is because yeah. disability is that. Too, I mean, how do you feel, Andrew? I mean, come on. Do you, I'm, I'm I mean, do you it's, feel it's good to be in there? I think so. Yeah, do you? Okay. I mean, I, mean, I don't, no, I don't I mean, know. It's, it's, it's a specific word that defines stuff. So, okay. And people have temporary, just people go on temporary disability when they're angry. No. There's a, it's also kind of like in the culture, which I, I, I'm also in that. It, Disabilities community of like reclaiming the word is it's yeah. not it's not what yeah. it used to be. Um, well, I don't mean to at all dismiss that in that way. I mean, I'm meaning it very much the way Joanne's meaning it because I was even going to say that if you got rid of that, um, that would also incorporate people who need language assistance. You know, you wouldn't even have to have a separate sentence with language. I it's think they're separate. Yeah, they're separate. They're separate. Yeah, they're separate. Right, right. But that's that's my rationale. So I don't mean to do that in any way. So I'm glad you brought that up, Becky, because you know, yeah, who knows? Input matters more than the people too. You know, we want to have an adequate representation of a community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Um, so, well, I withdraw my amendment. So, yeah, and I think the word just disabled, the, the point where you change is that it's like they're not unable. Disabled is it has the context of there's an outside force. Like if you're in a wheelchair and you need to go to City Hall and there's no ramp, you're disabled because there's no ramp. Once there's a ramp, you can go. Yeah, right. Go there, so I encourage someone to find out that. Mm -hmm. I think that what you're, so, yeah. This agenda is available in alternative formats upon request, period. For more information on Access Comma, call licensing, voting, and records coordinator. Call the, uh, yeah, licensing, the. voting, and records coordinator. And it doesn't say, it just says numbers. Yeah. Well, it's in, in parentheses. parentheses. Yeah. Okay. Right. Persons with disabilities who require assistance or special arrangements participate are encouraged to contact. Voice number in PTY number at least 72 hours in advance so that proper arrangements can be made. This language shall be included on NPA meeting on the NPA meeting agenda. And 
plural, the, the meeting agendas. The IPAs meeting agendas? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, we this last one. Yeah. Uh, the plural meeting agendas. I just said. Yeah. NBA meeting agendas. Sure. Huh? NBA meeting agendas. Oh, you do what you want. No, I don't. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're two separate. Literally, we're not going to talk with the actor after the S. Yeah. Put in a phone space. It sounds terrible. This lady should still be on the NPA's meeting agendas. Yes, here we go. Sounds great. <laughs> so now for me. So we okay. So before we get there, are we voting the same? I second. Uh, did someone make a motion? Okay, I motion to. I, I second. But I'm better make a motion. Sorry. I, I don't know how to make a motion. But I motion that we. Adopt the language we just read. I just said it. All of you say. Yeah. Hallelujah. We did it. Something. I thought this was going to be a quick meeting. I know you said. I thought it's been 45 minutes. Well, yeah. It's probably three. 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 Discuss point two of attorney feedback below. Two. Page three. Section three point four. Agenda. In addition to posting agenda online. They should also be posted three places in the city, one of which technically is supposed to be near City Hall. Whether the bylaws state that, it's good to remember. Our office has noticed that several NPAs post long signs to remind neighbors yes. uh, to remind neighbors a meeting is coming up. Maybe include a web address or QR code to find the agenda online and that's works. We and, and I submitted the okay. most recent draft. Yeah, thank you. And I, I saw this right before I did that. And I put a QR code with a link to that page. Uh, on those drafts that we have. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, yeah. So I don't think this required us to do anything. Mm -mm. So I just wanted to have the conversation that we are on it. We're on it. <laughs> so I guess we posted three places. Uh, what, what are our three places? And, and I love that it says near City Hall. Well, yeah. that's like in the that's bar crazy. Crazy. Yeah. No, it, it's posted at City Hall in the clerk and treasurer's office. All the public meeting agendas are posted there. That just gets taken care of, right? Yeah. Okay, well, physical. Physical, too. Physical. So yeah. We have Civic Clerk, and then what's our other? We have, we have social media, and we have Lawn Clerk. Done. So, but we don't have to do anything with this, is all I'm saying. I think the lawn signs, like, a, yeah, and, and you know, as long as there isn't just one lawn sign in one spot, like, lawn signs theoretically are spread throughout the neighborhoods or whatever, yeah, those would be yeah, multiple yeah. places. Have you spelled that on the Maybe we get posted on the front porch forum and on the MCA Facebook page. Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. But I motion that we don't really need to do anything with this. We don't need to put that something in that. Oh, okay. I have second. Okay. second there with that motion. All, okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay, great. Nice. <laughs> Number five, green discuss point three and turn feedback below. Three, page four, section 4.4 4, removal. The city okay. attorney's office is fine with the language as is, but if someone is going to be removed for disc discriminatory conduct, it might be best to consult the office for speech and debate during the public meeting has a special status constitutionally. Censoring someone for their speech and debate is perfectly constitutional, but more severe consequences often are not. I write conduct as something different than speech and debate, but the potential may overlap. The potential for overlap is there. Something different than speech and debate. Oh, I see what he, he, he is saying. Conduct is action. Yeah. Yeah, they, something they do. But are we saying, it, are they saying that it has to be? No. Anywhere they do. They're just giving us a heads up. I, yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. I, but how I understand. They're just suggesting that before we vote to remove someone, that we consult the city attorney's office first. So um, my suggestion would be in our section about removal, um, I would just add the phrase where it makes sense um, after consulting with the city attorney's office. Because 
Oh, I was aware of the other people. I have I agree. And that, I should have pulled them in two papers then. Like we don't have to like we're gonna have to find out it afterwards that we couldn't yeah. have something. And it will protect us from any like black. Would you say that again? Where well, was so the very end to the end? Oh, okay. I think you were there. Yeah, yeah. Look at number four, scroll down. Yeah. I think you were there. Are you talking about Pulse Code? Yeah, I was just showing you which section, section four. Removal. And then number four, removal. Um, I would say, uh, but, uh, by a simple majority vote of the members present at an NPA meeting after a consultation with the city attorney's office. Yeah. By a simple majority vote of the so it's already for, there. For, so simple majority vote of the members present at the NPA meeting, uh, in parentheses after a consultation with the city attorney's office. Why not put it in the very last sentence? Where this is contingent upon the inclusion of the matter of removal on a properly joined agenda and yeah. consultation with the Is this? Is this the document in? Yeah. This is the document you sent me the other day. You emailed me for well, this meeting. I gave you the link, right? Yeah. So this, can you edit that? Yeah, I, I was starting to right here. I I'm confused. Yeah, so just let me know. So one person talked and tell me what I should write. Well, I think there's two places. Okay. All right, then I will wait. Yeah, I think it's better at the end too. Wait. So yeah. the last sentence. Mm -hmm. What did someone that? say again what they want to put in? This is contingent upon the inclusion of the matter of removal on the properly warned agenda for the meeting and after consulting the city attorney's office. Yep. Yeah. Good. 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 With? Yeah, with? Yes. 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 Okay. I second. Yeah. Oh. Take care of doing I don't mind. No, I I'm that stage there. I just wanted to write a little note to myself because, uh, just in case we, we lose something, I don't trust it again. <laughs> what you could do, uh, what I've done with these uh, documents is at the end, copy and paste the whole document and then like email it to yourself or save it in a Word document just in case. Yeah. And then you know at that point like you save it in a word document, that's exactly what it was. That's what I was able to do. Oh, okay. I was able to change it back again to yeah. put in the Google Doc. Gotcha. So, um, so we all voted on that. So seven, read and discuss point four, return the feedback below. Four, page four, section four point seven, yeah. ineligible to serve. This is perfectly fine as written, but if the NPA wants to use the technical legal term right. for the concept here, it's the doctrine of incompatible offices, unquote. Yeah. The offices listed in this section are incompatible with serving as steering committee members. I I think we can keep ineligible. <laughs> sure. Is there a path? So I motion that we keep ineligible to serve just like other is eligible to serve versus incompatible with serving. I was going to do it very All right. Well, the reason, what is the reason for that incompatible with serving. I believe this is further the discussion of that with article. The title. The bigger article, not what the city's attorney said. I mean, where, did this, where did this come from? From me. Well, we have oh, a whole so agenda. I wrote. Four. Wait, so that's. Well, that, that's for the I after we finish with the words ineligible to serve or incompatible with service. Then I have a question. That's for the other things. Right? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, oh. so I, Vicki, you're saying keep it the way it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. We vote on that. Your motion. Yeah, yeah, I motion that we keep ineligible. I second. All in favor. And we said we weren't going to be doing this stuff either. We remember that? We weren't going to be, we were just going to be doing it. Yeah, we're done. So actually, since you're in the document yeah. and you made the just that one change, yeah, because earlier you said you were doing the others. I'm not actually asking you to just, it's just yeah. very easy. I'm just, don't want to lose it. Yeah, um, just, so, I wasn't sure where to add it in, the so one from before. Especially before. Uh, so under, uh, no, excuse me. So, so article two. Okay. Two. Membership. Right at the, um, yep, right there. Mm -hmm. um, and so my little suggestion isn't showing up, is it? No, because I think you're on a Word doc. Okay. Or are you on no, Google doc? No, I did it in Google. Oh. That's me. Um, mm -hmm. Google and I are not always friends. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Yeah, sure. Oh. oh my goodness! Working harder. All right, and just right here. Yes. Maybe it is here. Oh, it is. Yeah. So okay. Can we just yeah. Is this the same that you guys came up with just now? No, it needs to be changed a little bit. But unless you just want to copy or paste what you have. Yeah, I can do that because I think I would have to type it out. It. If you resolve it. Then. Yeah, I can do that. Um, so it was for more information on access. And then call the licensing voting and records coordinator. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um and then is was that the only change to this part? Then, okay. Um, so do we want to keep that and we don't need to keep it in quotes though. Okay, yeah. And then, um, was there something? And then, of course, this language shall be included on the NEA's okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, meeting agendas. And so, do you want me to have it in quotes so that you know that that's the language that's included on the agendas? Yeah. Yeah, but I think we can take a, um, yeah, the others. I, I asked you to remove the quotes from the section that we copied from the city's web page. Is that okay? That makes sense. Alternatively, I can start with this and then have a colon and then have it show the language. Huh? Oh. Like, alternatively, if I wrote, like, oh, the okay. following language okay. shall be included on the yeah. NPA's meeting agendas. And then yeah, have the text know. below. That makes yeah. sense. To start with this language, and then the language follows versus the language coming in that same. Yeah. Right. Good. I don't think it makes sense to do that. Are you talking about this language shall be included on the NPA's meeting agendas? Oh, yeah, like the following or something. Right, but but this what we have up there, um, offered and accessible to all. This no, link, this form. agenda is available in alternative format. Because this is technically not an agenda, so I think because it's the bylaws, bylaws, so I think that could be confusing potentially, if like if it's not in quotes or not separated somehow. Or meeting agendas are available. I have I have a suggestion. Um, so uh, I'll just like so I'll so all right. So I'm just gonna go straight to the motion. I move that this section reads the following: All Ward Four and Ward Seven residents who are 14 years or older shall be voting members. To facilitate participation in meetings, both in person and online meeting venues shall be offered and accessible to all. Therefore, 
this language shall be included on NPA's on the NPA's meetings agenda only, and then this agenda is available. Well, they want. So that's my motion. Uh, if there's a second, then we can discuss if there's any discussion. I have a clarifying question. The, um, including a quote before this agenda is mm -hmm. like to have that language in quotes um, or to just leave it on the other side of the colon. Well, so my suggestion is to put after the and accessible to all, period. Therefore, this language shall be included on the NPA's meeting agenda, colon. And then this agenda is available. Yeah. And then that's the whole. Therefore, I have another option after the same, you know. So it, it needs a second to really be discussed. So if if, if you don't like it, don't second it. If you like it, second it, and then we can discuss. That's a way to streamline these conversations. And how do we so I moved? We'll pause. There seems like there's no second. So then my movement fails, and then we can the next person can discuss. You would want the next person makes a motion. So I I I think that um the first part to facilitate participation in meetings, both in person and online meetings, then you shall be offered inaccessible to all. NPA meetings agenda, um, meeting agendas are available in alternative formats upon request, and then everything else. Just meeting agendas are available in alternative formats. Honestly, <laughs> we just keep it the same. Like, <laughs> well, because this is the agenda, this is the bylaw. So, Foster right. brought up a good point. This says this agenda, because this was on the end of an agenda. Yeah. Foster said, well, this isn't an agenda. Right. And it's true, it's not. This is the bylaws. So, so we meeting agendas are available in alternative form. form. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But then we have this language shall be included on. So, when, by saying this language, we need, we're like referring to something. The affirmation language shall be included on NPA's meeting agenda. But then we have to like go back in and dissect actually, all of this. Actually, we don't even need that last sentence anymore. Wait, 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 clarify my motion. We don't need the last sentence if the first sentence says, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Um, meeting, a, um, meeting agendas are available in alternative formats, et cetera, et cetera, right? And yeah, the aforementioned language Shall be included on MPA meeting agendas. Can you back up one level so I can see the top? It says membership. Okay. I don't know. I was going to say really that first sentence goes over there under membership. And then the rest of that's a whole other topic. That's all. There's like that a new paragraph. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's because right. to facilitate the beginning of the second paragraph. We could, what I did at home before I reread what the, the attorney said, is I actually made a three. There was participation for members. There was, then the next one further down is participation by non members. Yeah. And then I had a three, and I had um, accommodations or something, accessibility. And then under accessibility, <clears throat> I had that paragraph. That was before I went back and they said, put it under the beginning of number two. Well, I think there's <laughs> a, a, a point of that. I think your approach is better, Becky, honestly. Well, so I, for I, even I, if you I, go under meetings, for God's sakes. I think know. the reasoning for that, can you scroll up a little bit so we can see the beginning? So specifically what we're talking about, what which has been majorly missing from this question. From this NPA is is that the members have not it, it, there has not been um, the like required assistance and resources for people to participate as members and I think by moving this language too far down we're talking more about access to attend I agree and that is honestly why we're here today is because support and rights were not offered to actual members. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's why the city attorney suggested putting it in this beginning, but I, I see that like maybe grammatically it doesn't flow 
So maybe we want to, I just think we need a transitory phrase between the second sentence yeah, and the green I section. I, I think it just needs to say the meeting, meeting agendas are. Because then we're talking about alternative formats, which is about membership. Meeting agendas are, and then it fits. Meeting agendas are available in alternative form. Let me correct that thought because this is purely informatical. So is that it doesn't so I'm gonna make a motion so we can just deal with this systematically. So I move after the second sentence. Uh, so to facilitate participation in meetings, both in person and online meeting venues shall be offered and accept acceptable to all. My motion is to then change to meeting agendas are available. Second. Third. Now, if there's oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Now, if there's discussion, we can. If people disagree, this is the time to talk about it. So it's been seconded. So if people disagree or want it to be different, this is the time to talk about it. Does anyone have a better suggestion? We can amend the motion. And then. I can't see the whole thing. I guess the lighting agendas are an amendment and to add the aforementioned language for the last sentence. Um, and then the last sentence, well, we were doing the first part. Why is there a dot in front of me? That's just because there was an extra space there, because I'm suggesting right now. Oh, okay. So that you can, can track. yeah, keep yeah, track that it's been changed. For more information, contact this place. Particularly the civilities, this is the... Great. And then the last sentence would be the aforementioned language shall be included on NPA meetings. I accept that as a friendly amendment. So then that becomes part of my motion. Um, so then we can vote on that section as a whole now that it has been, unless there is further discussion. Right. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so it looks like we're ready for a vote. Yeah. All in favor of this language. Any opposed or saying that all is good? Okay, great. All right, we can resolve and just go ahead and vote for all that. Sorry? Did you resolve when I wrote in your signature? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, so so where were we? Um, are we all ineligible? Yeah. yeah, so our meeting technically ended five minutes ago. Um, I don't, I don't understand that. It was from five to six. Oh. Oh, yeah, but I move to extend the meeting. I'd say it. I agree. And vote. Um, so I need a break. Well, 15 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I move that this meeting can go until 6.15. Second. Any discussion? Any discussion? If you don't agree, this is the time to say it before we vote. Okay, all in favor? Okay. Um, so, what do we now? Open discussion. Open discussion about what we can make today and components. Okay. Well, distributed copies of what I've written here on a few. Yeah. This is in relation to the the clause that says who is ineligible. Right. To, okay. So the current operative bylaws for wards four and seven make no mention of any individuals or elected officials as being ineligible to serve. But may I say it's because it was assumed. I wrote those bylaws with a committee like this, and it was just so on. No elected officials were eligible. But I, I, I it wasn't why we were we actually starting. I have the floor. Okay. 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 Yeah. But that's an incorrect statement. No. No, no, no the not assumptions not are not in the bylaws. Correct. Okay. It may be in the legislative. 
Oh, that's and, five. Yeah, five. okay. But anyway, that's that's okay. But it, can you save questions for the end? Yeah. Please. The current operative bylaws make no mention of any individuals or official Similarly, in the sample bylaws circulated by CEDA, there is no mention of any individuals or elected officials as being ineligible to serve. This is not a requirement of CEDA or the city, I conclude. The clause in Ward 1's current bylaws declaring certain elected and appointed positions as ineligible to serve does not appear to be included in any other ward's current bylaws. Among the Ward 7 steering committee members unanimously voted into office on March 27, by all attending Ward 7 residents, there is one person currently elected to the Burlington Board of School Commissioners who governs the Burlington School District. That person was initially elected to serve on the interim steering committee, along with the other six original interim steering committee members, on November 29. That person has attended all, I think, of the steering committee and NPA meeting, has participated actively with all activities and obligations of steering committee members, according to the current operative bylaws. According to the ineligible to serve clause copied from the Ward 1 bylaws, and here proposed to be adopted for inclusion in our bylaws, persons who are closely connected to the governance and administration of the city are the ones ineligible to serve. This seems to logically include the mayor, city and city councilors, and mayor appointed city department heads, since the NPAs were specifically created 40 some years ago to, quote, encourage resident participation in city government. This is from the city's NPA website. The Burlington School District and its Board of School Commissioners is not the city government. It's an independent body, not controlled by the city government. Its budget is entirely separate from the city government. Nowhere in the 20 page Burlington School Board School Board policies adopted in December 2022 is there even a mention of city government? And I've added a thought here. Additionally, the election of school commissioners differs from the mayor and council elections by being specifically nonpartisan. Therefore, it appears that the school commissioners are not quote, closely connected to the governance and administration of the city, and therefore should not be declared as inel ineligible to serve. In a recent meeting of the Ward 4 and 7 NPA during the open forum agenda item, a resident of Ward 7 spoke of the long suffering of their child due to bullying at the school. The NPA response to this problem was led by the NPA steering committee member, who is also the school commissioner for Ward 7, and clearly showed the value of having such a person on the NPA rather than any implication that the attention of a school commissioner was an illegal intrusion by a person, quote, ineligible to serve. I believe that having an NPA steering committee member from the school board district is a very positive addition to the strength and responsiveness of our NPA to matters affecting only the school district and not connected to the governance and administration of the city. Therefore, respectfully move that the job title of school commission members be deleted from the proposed Ward 4 and 7 bylaws. Would anybody like to discuss this? I'd like to recommend that we table this and send it to the city attorney for his opinion. Well, well our... the, the way I read the city attorney's comment was that as written, it's legal, which means, in my view, you can that it. if you want to exclude people from membership, you can. So, yeah, also, just so you know, that, that because of the history, of the NPA, as I understand it, and also it's in it's in other bylaws, and it, it was extracted from Ward One's bylaws. You were the one whose comment in the in the, the sixth iteration of the bylaws said it only appears in Ward One. Yeah. So no, 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 no. It no. does. It does only appear. I don't know that it only appears. It, it does. does. Yeah. But it's in there, and it, and we had a full discussion last meeting um and i understand the dynamics of, of what's occurring and and but city um 
being a school clinician is an elected position. It's a seat of power and um in city government. It's not city government. But it is. It oh, is. It's it is. You know, that's why I wanted it to go to the city attorney's office. I think this is the part that he has to be consulted on. Is a is a school yeah, board a city that, attorney. Well, there will be. Yeah. But I mean this is just so surprising to me, the idea, I mean, for example, our annual report, our annual city report cannot be printed until they have the school board's budget. It's just, it's stunning to me. This is already been approved by the attorney. What's been approved? That section. No, I'm talking about this. No, you have a lot of No, this is not that. Again, this I'm, is an I'm assumption. Saying, what was approved by the that, city that attorney this, was the idea that people could be excluded by putting it in the bylaws. But, That's but, what this, I but this is premised on the fact that the school board for the school board is a part of city government. And that's what I think that the city attorney ought to make a comment about because I think it is. That's what I'm thinking. I, yeah. So I yeah, I sent an email 15 minutes before I should have right? <laughs> that nobody's seen. Um and, and it was I think I got it to everybody here today. Okay. So, um, and Vicki, I, you know, and it was, I, I don't know what you folks discuss this further because it's almost, it's, it's just, yeah, it's 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 a, I have to go. I have another, you'll I see, Vicki, you'll see it. I I'll thought, talk to you about it. So what I yeah. proposed, awesome. I'll talk to I you. just thought, what I put was a motion to table on, on the okay. table. Well, can I just say and that's not debatable. Well, wait, well, let's listen. What do you mean it's not debatable? Most of the table. Well, you have to vote on it. Yes. Just tell them that. So is there a second on the on the motion? On the I don't board? think it is. It's, it's so we need a vote. You can't just declare a table. Oh, uh, let's. So when, when will we be able to discuss this again? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what I was just going to say, that it seems like, yes, we need to stop this discussion, and then we can't move forward. I, I disagree, because we have four bylaws meetings. We have voted on this, talked about it extensively in a bylaws meeting that there was a unanimous vote about that that um wording, that language. Um, and it was a unanimous vote in this room, and we but that doesn't make it a bylaw. That only makes it, it, it just means that it, 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 it's from in the draft. Community. It's in the draft that's gonna go before the NPA. Yeah. But but same with uh, I hear you, but same with everything else we've discussed in this meeting. It's, it's, it was all that it was all discussed. I mean, we were discussing it all. So, a point of information. So, we have to uh, on an agenda warn specifically what you're voting on. And so, it was warned in the agenda that we were specifically voting on attorney feedback. I think this is great information. I think this is very thorough. Um, if you saw the recording of the last meeting, I was making sure we understood that, yep, that this section was affecting someone who's currently on. Yep. But if you're if you're looking at, at process, to follow process, we did already vote this in as part of the bylaws. What I would like to see is if we, and maybe the steering committee could consider this, um, when we go to discuss the bylaws as a full NPA committee, I feel like some people who feel strongly about this issue, I think we need to really dig into this one issue because these are recommendations. We did vote on this recommendation, um, but I think it's perfectly fine to have a dissenting member of the bylaws group to, um, I think this is worded very respectfully, like I don't think there'd be anything wrong in, in really digging mm -hmm. in. To this discussion, but I do think we did already vote yeah. on this point, and this point wasn't warned. So I think process-wise, could we even vote on? Yeah, January? I don't have my language. It's not on the agenda. Well, it's, it's like Joanne said, everything kind of it. that was voted on and, and amended in the proposed bylaws have been changes of language, changes of we've added things that the city attorney never saw. We added this thing about you know have to be on every agenda. That was attorney fee, but that was yeah. on the agenda. And that was one on the agenda. Well, 
I don't see that it should have discussed. I don't see it. I'm just wondering what is the discussion behind it. I think that, I mean, well, we have another meeting and we warn it, or, you know. It's my opinion. I think a lot of people are going to have opinions on this, and I think it warrants, like, a long, wholesome discussion that will affect. Like someone who's already been really affected, mm -hmm. but I think yeah. that should happen at the full of the age. Like, well, this is a recommendation, right? Um, that's just not. I'm not so, sure I, I, so I have questions, but I'd actually rather discuss it in a smaller group than the big group. Not now, obviously, but I don't feel like some of my questions are more about some of the process and aren't necessarily a piece of it, absolutely to the full NPA, yeah. but some of it feels like it's also. About a bylaw, and I am apologize. I shouldn't have come tonight. That mm -hmm. is this due? Is this due to be finished? Like, does this have to be finished today? No, or can we push it out another month? I guess that's that's the big. Thing. I used to tell you. I think what I want to do. The full amount went to. It was supposed to be finished in January. So the yeah, amount should it would be can we be voted on that? So can you clarify what your motion um, it was? What are we it was going? specifically for to ask the city attorney if the school board is not part of city government because this is all premised on that. So your vote is to table it to send it to the city attorney with a specific question about whether this is accurate that the that the school board is not part of city government. Is there I'm a not, second? I second. I, I, that's not what I said. In this what, whatever it says here, this right. goes to the city attorney. Well, I don't know. Mean, we have to really yeah. yeah. really send all of this. So, we have second. So, is there a discussion on it? And don't you move to a vote to figure out what we're doing because our, our meeting is passed? Yeah, I don't know. But to send this whole thing to the city attorney, yeah. they're, they're I mean, so what do you mean? Do we just send the whole thing or just the question that? Well, well, it kind of builds yeah. on itself. It builds yeah, I, to, the, I would, to the I end. I would much prefer sending the whole thing. It's a logical treatise. I think it's it all I think, think, there's a part that comes down to yeah, our NPA specifically awarding seven. Our needs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, on what? Our, our NPA specifically, our choice. And part of our discussion when we adopted this language was having a seat, a seat at the table of you know, and being having folks who are in elected positions regardless of if they are specifically part of the city or not so we have at the end of the meeting i mm -hmm. move that we extend to um 6 25 is there a second to extend uh, um all in favor so we're extending sure Okay, so we we've extended. I'm, I'm, and so I'm, we have to go back to this motion. So okay. motion got seconded. Um, so I think there's been enough discussion if we move to a vote if we're gonna take so the motion on the floor is to table this matter and refer Hank's um analysis to the city attorney's office for feedback. Is that perfect? Okay, yeah. there's a second. All in favor. One. Two, three. I don't know. One, two, three. Um, all those. One, two, three, four. Okay, the motion. Um, okay. Fails. Yeah. And uh, to, to clarify, the, the 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 words in the in, in the phrase that we the clause that we adopted from Ward One says persons who are closely connected to the governance and administration of the city. That's where I believe it's different than the mayor and council. And that's correct. Um, um, sorry. I, I, you know what? I, I, I would like to go I guess then I would like to. I'm losing my voice. Mm -hmm. Even though I really haven't talked that much. Uh, um, uh, I would like to make a motion along your motion that. Um, Submit to the attorney's office office sections seven and eight of Hank's document only. Um, I agree. For a uh, decision. 
This document is one document. It's not a piece of a ruling whether you yeah. want to know whether the a school just a uh, school. You know what? I should I I'm really afraid this is this is the this is the reason we have this offer coming here. The only one that continues to benefit from these offers is people with different identities. And I'm thinking about supporting people for people who are involved in city administration. It doesn't matter to most people. I get it. That's why MPAs look the way they do. That's why steering committees look the way they do. There's not, and, and it's just where we're going to keep changing things until privilege gets what they want. And so I also think that there was room at the last meeting to discuss Monica separate. This is um, about so, yes, it is. Yeah, I think a lot of privilege in here protecting privilege. And it's more important yeah. that a person have a privileged identity who has a seat at the table than it does for someone else from a lower income. Person of elected to the steering committee. And <laughs> so, can we do the motion and then we can jump back to this discussion? So, there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Okay. Um, okay, sorry. I just wanted to deal with that moment, so it didn't get bothered. Um, thank you. I'd like to move that this be submitted to the city attorney in its entirety. But it was already voted against it. That was the motion. Yeah. These motions were to table it. To, to table the motion. The death motion was to take so out two, no, two paragraphs. So you're mm -hmm. to send this to the city to hold but right, but not hold up the process is that what you're going to do so well we will meet again when we get an opinion so that would be that would essentially be table for me if, if we're going to hold off until we receive the right so why are you doing that when we voted in the yeah. yeah. well my so understanding is that we don't submit it to the city so i'm going to make a motion yeah um so i moved did we reach point of information? Did we reach the end of our recommendations from the city attorney? Mm -hmm. We did. Okay, so my motion, and feel free to not second and to disagree. Um, so my my motion is to uh, approve these recommendations to present to the oh, the full NPA, um, and as part of that presentation, to have Hank present um, his analysis um, of of the point about school commissioner. So kind of like an addendum to the One so, further question for the MPA to file. Yeah. So so again, my my motion is to um approve approve um our recommendations as as amended here today to present to the people uh MPA uh full MPA will providing his analysis um to for further discussion by the full NPA. Um is there a second? I second. Oh wait a minute. So so we so we have a follow process. So there's a second. Now we can discuss. Now we can discuss. Uh, you're asking for a one-sided presentation. And I think if we're going to do that, we ought to have a two-sided. What are the what are the positives for having school board members on the steering committee? And what are the negatives of having any elected officials on the steering committee? I think we need to show both sides of it. You want to make well, an amended a point. So, so yeah. you like like a, so my my motion is to have Hank specifically present his analysis for discussion. Yes, yeah, you have an amendment to that. Do you want to add add someone to present like a counterpoint? Is that what you're are you willing to do that, Vicky? I can. Sarah, are you that. willing to? I would make a last meeting that we need. Voted on that. Okay, yeah. then we'll name Hank and Sarah. Thank you. I accept that as a friendly amendment. So that is now the the. I mean that amendment. makes sense to really. Yeah. yeah. So to reiterate, since I have accepted the friendly amendment, my motion on the table is to uh, to approve the this amended uh, bylaws to present to the full NPA with Hank. Uh, presenting his analysis and Sarah to present a uh, counterpoint yeah. and yeah. and background of of what we voted on. No, Sarah, one question. Yes. Um, are you going to consult with more than one, or are you just taking things from the last meeting? Where... From our from our last bylaws meeting that we 
voted on and decided on that. Um, I guess like amended to our bylaws to include the removal or the membership. I don't know exactly remember your second. For, for a minute over, just so you guys know. Um, we, have I, to, we, have, we are in the middle of a motion, so we yeah. have to finish it. Right, cool. And so, yeah, just to use our take our final draft. And I, I would I suggest looking through what I sent by email to, you know, okay. just yeah. because I did, um, I went through all the ward bylaws and pulled out what they, their pertinent parts. Um, it was interesting to make because some of them have city councilors on their steering committee, mm -hmm. and um, and also looked finally was able to find what the role of school board commissioners are, which was not easy. It's in state law. Okay. Okay. Yeah, some that. some NBAs have huh? council councilors on their no. Yeah. So I think we're getting away from the motion. Yeah. So let's go to the motion. My question about that motion yes, is, yes. Yes. <laughs> don't we still the as a buck for you, whoever's on this panel has committed? You're on a still. Well, actually, I wish I wouldn't have been that. No offense to you, it's just not my game. Um, but it's good to listen. Uh, so are we then just going to figure this all out at the big NPA meeting, or are we going to come back with a bylaw? So what, so what my motion is, is that we're saying, okay, we have reached the end. This is ready to present to the full NPA as a rec only as a recommendation. Okay. And then so in that NPA meeting, anybody can make any suggestion and change anything in it, and it will be voted by the NPA. So people can say, I don't like that part. This part, hey, I want to add this part. I want to read it. They could be okay. okay. just to send it back to the working group. So we release <laughs> this part of it to present to the NPA, turn it over to them. Okay. Okay. I, I have further clarification. Um, implying that this is the recommendation of the bylaws subcommittee and, and the steering committee of the NPA mm -hmm. would be in, incorrect. Correct. Would you so, like to amend the language? Well, I don't think it, it is incorrect. It's not the steering committee. No, I'm not voting in favor. It's not the steering committee. Well, we. The, the motion on the table from yes. Sarah yes. is to yes, but it's accept not the steering committee. The bylaws as so far amended, and 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 prevent as them a, to do as a yet. bylaw committee member versus a steering committee member. Yes. Would you be amenable to to making clear the vote total and that it, it broke like yeses and noes and was unanimous? Is that or, do we have minutes from this previous it, bylaws meeting? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And they, they should be publicly available. So I'm I'm the new um I'm gonna uh move that we we need to vote. vote so I think, I think we've discussed. Um, so just to reiterate, so, just for a while, so uh, the motion on the table is that we uh, approve this as recommendations to bring forth to the NPA, at which point uh, Hank will uh, provide his analysis on the question of school commissioner. Sarah will be providing a counterpoint to that. Um, yeah, and uh, it has been seconded, and so all in favor. One, two, three, four. Wait, what are we, what are we, I don't know. What, are, are you saying how many people are in favor of that process? Of that motion that that I just said out loud. Yes. Presented and all that. With no meeting in between, it goes from here to the NPA. For discussion. And Sarah and I get to present our views. I need, I'm sorry, but I need to understand what exactly you're saying. You're going to present this as the draft bylaws and then have a presentation? Or are you going to have a presentation about this and say, we have the draft bylaws to present, but we know this is a, this is the biggest issue in the bylaws that we are we like the only, and, the only and, and that we and that 
and we know this is an issue. Yeah. And so we want to discuss this first before we present. Well, so them. I'll explain why know. this motion is structured the way it is, because by process, we we already discussed this school commissioner that she led our last meeting we spoke in. Right, right. Um, and so this helps us not get mired in things and meeting by meeting, keep picking apart votes that didn't break the way we wanted to in the previous meeting. So my motion is with the intention of acknowledging that there is, even though we had the unanimous vote at the last meeting, that there is some lingering disagreement on how to handle the specific issue. But so it, it calls that part out that it got voted on, but there's some lingering disagreement. That way we don't have to keep having this, this discussion yeah. here. We, we have already had, we're having a different part of it today. In it and everything else, we've, we've come to a really good conclusion on. I think it's been a long process. I've watched all the recordings. This gets it to the NPA, acknowledges this other part, and lets the NPA decide as a group that, that there is this bigger part that is important. And the alternative would be to, if that's voted down, we just send it to the NPA as it's warned on the agenda. And then that can still come up at the meeting because it's going to be discussed at the meeting. Mm -hmm. So the only difference is it wouldn't be coming as a advertised by us that you're going to have this special discussion. Is this already it, on board on the agenda? Yes. For, the, for our no. Well, we have we we a yeah. yeah. So it's so if, if this motion fails. Then I I think we need to look into a journey because we're way past coming mm -hmm. and it yeah. doesn't make sure something at the next end of the game. It doesn't for your bylaws to look at this. Why, why no. doesn't it get presented when up to this point? Because it's we, not it's not warned on the agenda yet. So well, we yeah. haven't written the agenda yet. We have no idea. Yeah, but that's but that's right. so it was, it was, was it on the last day of last for discussion and vote. And part of the discussion would be this unresolved our issue. Yeah, we right. And I think the assumption is that we would. It's like three conversations happening. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. a late part of the following. We really need to go to part of our next meeting. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying. So I, I made a motion. We have to vote on yeah. it. If you don't want to vote for it, don't vote for it. But yeah. if, if it passes, this will go. The, you know, this will go to the to the NPA as as what this working group has come to a conclusion on. And if you vote it down, then then it, it just it, it's it's voted down. It's not the, it just the yeah, this, well this working group hasn't hasn't concluded the recommendation. And it was my understanding that this working group would conclude the recommendation before it goes to EPA, right? I believe so. So yeah, it just would go. Yeah. We already did it the last. We meeting. did it the last meeting. The, the last only meeting. thing at this meeting was the yeah. was the changes from the city yeah. attorney. Yeah. That was no, the only thing that was. If we yeah. vote this yeah. down, the yeah. NBA yeah. has to vote on it. Though. The NBA yeah, has yeah. To vote. And what it would be at the next meeting. Right. So the vote yeah. down yeah. would be to not have this further discussion at the whole not have it identified by two individuals or describing well, yeah. the someone group. needs to move how we get it to the NPA to vote. I so to I move that we take it to the NPA as is to vote. Okay. So wait, you got to vote on the sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were withdrawing it. I just said it. Yes. Oh. I thought it was withdrawing it. <laughs> vote for 20 minutes. And finally, yeah. on it. So let's vote on it. Yes, yeah, so and so so it's it, it's including having this discussion about Hanks and Alex with the counter talk. Okay, you have a second. Oh, yeah, I you're in second. second. All, all in favor? One, two, three. Okay, the motion fails, and so take it as is. Should be and the rules of voting on it. Can I make a further addition to call it a? Final draft from the NPA. From the bylaws. Final draft. Yeah. It, it implies it's not, you know, we don't. Okay. Yeah, it's always so going to be. It was always going to be a draft. Right. So I move that we take the, bio, the final draft to the NPA mm -hmm. presented for vote as is. And discussion. 
Well, three of course. Possession or construction. Can you put me right there? Wait, can you put me right there? Well, you should still call like that opposed and opposed. Oh, okay. Well, we're making the rubric rules. Yeah. Opposed. Certainly have. Opposed. Huh? We certainly have. We're making rubric rules. I mean, everything about process and procedure and. So we'll vote it to oppose. You did. I thought you voted to make it there a minute ago. I have abstained. What? Okay. So it goes to the EMPA as a as a final draft to present it for discussion and, and vote. Hopefully, final vote. Hopefully. But I also think that with respect to the current EMPA, um, you know. This is, this is, I always say it's a subcommission. What's the subcommission? I don't know what you're going to say. I'd rather say it be. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you. 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 Thank you